Well, this is the fastest roadside guy alive. Uh, this morning we're going to talk about insurance. What kind of insurance do you need to level up your roadside assistance business? But before we do that, I'm going to need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also watch some of the other videos I have online. Uh, they're very helpful. My most recent video is uh, every tool I carry on my truck video. You're going to want to watch that if you're working for auto rescue. Uh, it tells you every single tool you need to get the job done uh, over 90% of the time. Uh, most of the type guys, they're carrying the minimum tools, putting in the minimum effort. Uh, but what you're going to want to do if you are looking to level up your business is start practicing on being the man. And to be the man, you got to have all the tools. And uh, the next thing you're going to need is insurance. So that's what this video is going to be about. Insurance, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a pain in the ass. It's expensive. Uh, but for me personally, I found, you know, it took me, when I first started this in like 2014, I had worked for Auto Rescue for maybe a year and then started looking for uh, insurance because I wanted to level up my business. It was really hard to find. It took me six or seven months to even find um, the right insurance. You couldn't just call Geico to get insurance. You had to go through a broker. I mean, I made a hundred or more phone calls looking for insurance. Nowadays, it's much easier. Most of your major insurance companies, Geico, Liberty, Liberty Mutual, Progressive, name them. Uh, and most brokers are able to get this uh, policy uh, written up for you if you have the requisite, if you meet the requirements, you know, long enough in business, clean driving record, etc. Uh, but I personally had insurance while I was working for Auto Rescue making $12 a call because I planned on, I planned on leveling up my business. I just knew uh, you needed to have insurance. And not only that, you know, if you have any assets, uh, you want them protected. It's very easy to mess up, a, mess up a service. You could not get a wheel put on right and it falls off and now you're on the hook for you know, $300,000 and you don't have insurance to cover it, so you're in bankruptcy. So insurance is important no matter where you're at on your journey in this business, even if somebody like Auto Rescue or Allstate don't require it, require it um, once you have it, it gives you options to level up into the motor club game and also protects you um, when you start doing your own retail calls and whatnot. What kind of insurance do you need? Most people ask, where do I get insurance? And then they don't know what to ask for when they get to their agent. So sit tight, I'm about to post uh, exactly what you're looking for. Not only are you going to need a commercial liability policy for your business, but nowadays these motor clubs are starting to require a commercial auto liability policy. Uh, the, the lowest amount I've seen is Honk. They need a $300,000 general policy along with a $100,000 auto policy. Um, if you're going to be working for Agero, the biggest motor club, I, probably on the planet, at least in America, and the number one provider in our area, you're going to need a million dollar policy along with a million dollar auto liability policy. Uh, this is really a barrier to entry uh, to the business because insurance costs a lot. Uh, a lot of times you can't even get insurance unless you have a couple years of experience and a clean driving record, etc., etc. Uh, so it's not, it's not cut and dry that you'll be able to get it, but you should at least try to find it. Uh, this is exactly what the document looks like. This is called a certificate of liability insurance and each motor club will want to have a COI or a certificate of insurance with their name on it proving you have insurance. So you're going to want to take this exact document and forward it over to your insurance agent along with the list of the motor clubs that you're going to be uh, working for or trying to get contracts with. I would be glad to email that document to you. Uh, just hit me up at sam at samsroadsideservice.com. I'll try to put a link in the bottom of this video in the description. Um, but that'll save you a lot of confusion in trying to communicate what you need with your insurance company. And as far as where to find it, I already mentioned, dude, start with the big ones. Geico, Liberty Mutual, Progressive, uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Call your local broker. This insurance is not as hard to find as it used to be. It used to be really hard to find. Nobody had it. Nobody heard of it. Uh, nowadays, you can just make probably one or two phone calls and get a couple different quotes. Um, you know, you're not looking, it's, a, it's a, a significant investment. You're looking at 
hundreds of dollars, three, five, six hundred dollars for commercial auto and a commercial uh, business policy. Um, it's not cheap. You're going to want to figure out which one you're going to do. If you're just getting in the game and you're just trying, trying to get in with a couple of these um, apps like Honk and whatnot, maybe start with the minimum. If you think you're going to try to break in with a Giro, you're going to need a million dollar policy. Uh, it's tough to do, but if you're signing up with every single motor club and you're planning on trying to get a bunch of drivers working for you, that's what you're going to want to do. Um, it's not that hard to find anymore. You just got to know what you're looking for. So if you like this video and want to see more of them, uh, it would help me a lot if you press the subscribe button, sub subscribe to my channel. Um, if you followed me on some of my other social media, Sam's Roadside Service on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that. Uh, you can hit me up anytime at email. Once again, that is sam at samsroadsideservice.com. Uh, you can leave any comments or questions in the uh, comment box, and I'll be glad to answer them. Uh, I will be making a video on all the questions I've ever been asked about this video, about this business very soon. Uh, so if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in a comment section on one of my videos, and I'm going to answer all of those. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe out there. Um, the fastest roadside guy alive. I'm out.